Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome. I guess I'm just gonna say welcome, because welcome back. Why would I even assume that you watched my first video? I only have two on this channel, but if you did, if you have, thank you very much and welcome back. Now enough digressions. So today, I'm here, finally, after I've been able to sort out my top-down setup. I hope this is fine. And I'm gonna be showing you my first Hobonichi haul. I say first Hobonichi haul because I'm sure that there will be another one uh, because something is missing. I'm going to show you what I got and I'm also going to be showing you some things that I got from independent artists, some kind of stationery that I got from them because I went to a convention convention last month. Now, um, what you can see right now here is my current setup. It's quite simple, you know, it's just the forest, um, forest Tiger Bow and Tie Weeks with the Yuka Hiragi cover. From for this year, together with okay, look at this Pokemon card, <laughs> one of these notebooks, and I use the Ranma pencil board from the 2021 lineup, and that's pretty much it. It's quite simple, and then I'm also using a cousin with the month tags and a cover, and I'm using the Animal Crossing pencil board, which you can see right here. So now onto the haul. So this year, instead of buying stuff from the Japanese website, I decided to buy these planners from Spanish retailers, one of which is Entropia Paper Store. Whoops, okay. I'm still figuring this out, I'm sorry, but there it is, Entropia Paper Store. They're based in Barcelona, but you can buy from wherever you are because they have an online store as well. I've actually never been to the physical store. So here's what I got from Entropia Paper Store. They're usually very meticulous and careful about how they pack their orders, and it's usually quite quick. Um, they're far from where I am in Spain, but it doesn't take very long for things to get here. So starting off, I got the Hobonichi papers in the Aurora Duty design. This is a notepad, it's not Tomoe River paper, it's just one of those notepads that you can use to uh, write, you know, jot down little things here and there, and you can rip out the pages. If you look at this over here, you've got the description with the Japanese prize, and over here you've got the illustration, which you can see right there. So let's just open it. So here it is. Whoop, here it is. And if you open it, you've got the illustration right there. So these pages you can actually rip out. I'm not gonna do it right now, but you can do it yourself. And here's the back part. So since I wasn't gonna be buying the Aurora Duty Weeks, I thought I would buy the Hobonichi papers. These are, the big one is the Hobonichi Cousin. This time I bought the English edition. So this is the Monday start. Hobonichi recently changed their packaging to something that is a bit more, I guess, sustainable or easier to recycle and so on. So here it is. So I'm just gonna open it and show it to you in case you've never seen one, which I highly doubt at this point because I'm actually a little bit late with my video. So you've got a couple of things here. So when you open it, you've got these three things. Of course, you've got the planner and you've got this little leaflet with some information about the Hobonichi Techo. In this case, this year it has this cookie theme, so to speak, or biscuit theme. Taste the biscuit and the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. And over here it's like a little catalog, you know, with the different options, the different planners that they have. And then it shows you different ways in which you can use it. Um, and sort of the theme of it is different things being born. You know, using your planner and creating different things. Um, do you draw on your Hobonichi? I don't really draw that much. Sometimes I do. I do doodle a little bit and stuff, but, um, it's not a sketchbook for me as much as it is a more of a functional planner and a bit of a messier planner, if you will. So you've got that. And then you've got this right here, which is a test page of the new Tomoe River paper. Um, they're changing it. They have, they announced this a while ago, and they're changing it for 2024. I think the week's planners will still have the, the older Tomoe River paper, but this is the Sanzen River paper, 
Sansen paper. And so it's showing you, it's the same structure, but it's just like a little slip of paper that you can use to try your different materials. You know, I don't use fountain pens. I don't, I just use ballpoint pens, regular ballpoint pens. Sometimes I use gel pens. And I don't really care that much about whether the paper has a bit more tooth or not. I'm not that invested in all that. So for me, um, as long as the design is good and as long as it works how I'd like it to work, I don't think I would have that much of a problem with any kind of paper, to be honest, as long as, it's, it's, as it stays compact and so on. So here's the English planner. And let me just uh, show it to you a little bit in case you've never seen one, but um, I doubt it. So over here, you've got 2023, 2022, and 2024. Then you've got these yearly planners, which I haven't been using a lot. I've noticed that the grid is slightly bigger. Let me just open the English one. Let me just open the Japanese one. I keep saying English. I don't know why. But let me just open the Japanese one to see. Because I feel like it is slightly maybe it's just that it's darker let me see okay so over here you've got this one this is the japanese one and as you can see it's lighter you have the months and you it goes from december of 2022 so december of this year until until it goes until March of 2024 and after that you've got your weeks from the end of December of 2024 to not 2024 2022 until it goes all the way to ooh, okay one sec yeah all the way to the 31st of December of 2023. Now, another difference, and I have my Japanese planner right next to me so that I can show you these things um, quickly, is this. Of course, you're not gonna have the Japanese festivities, which, you know, I, I have never paid attention to them. And also, if you notice, the number of the week is is placed here. Here it says 52nd week, and this is the 46th week, but if you notice, the layout is slightly different. And you've got the turning a page to a new year section, and after that you have your regular dailies. You usually have a monthly page, blank page, for you to, you know, do your notes or whatever it is that you do, make your notes. And then you've got the hourly, and then the quotes in English, which this is going to be the first year I'll be able to understand the lyrics because, not the lyrics, the quotes, because, you know, in the beginning, I used to Google Lens every single one of them as I would find them, but I kind of got off the bandwagon and I stopped doing it and I just stopped caring about the quotes, to be honest. But I feel like this year, now that I have them in English, I'll be able to at least know what they are all about. And here, each month is a different color. Some people like the colors, some people don't. I personally do because, you know, it's just the little touch and the colors are not too bright and too in your face. They're quite muted, to be honest, so that's it. And then after all the dailies, which I'll have the same structure with the important tasks and so on, then over here we've got a couple of gridded pages here. So one, two, three, four sheets, timetable, which I never use, thing of graph paper, which I've never used, favorite section, I sometimes fill it in, I sometimes don't. Then we have my 100. This one I tend to use, but I never really get past 50. A section that says my favorite things, you know, just some prompts for you. And then how to better enjoy conversation. So they usually have these advice pages and they've had them on every single planner. And I've check them on Google Lens, as I said, because I don't speak Japanese, so I just translated them on my phone to kind of get the gist of what they're about. But this time over here, they're in English. Then you've got your words to remember, and then you've got this one, the 365 days checkoff sheet. And then you've got a gift section, and a dress section, and then your, of course, your personal information, and finally, the serial number, which 
happens to be here on every single planner because each planner is unique and special. And then I use this cover because I don't use cover on covers, at least I'm not using them this year and I probably won't be using them next year. I haven't bought any and I don't plan to buy any because I have like three. And these are the Midori A5 Codex clear covers. They're meant for their notebooks, but they work very well with Hobonichi. With this Hobonichi size because it's thicker, so it's kind of, it's more similar to a Codex notebook. So now that I have it here and I'm doing the haul for you, I'm just going to put it in here so that my planner is ready for next year. And so let's just do it. One size in, one side in, rather, not size. Does it ever happen to you that you forget words? And this is my second language, of course, so... <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, there we are. Okay. So here we are, ready to go. The next thing I got is this page guard for the weeks. So I'm just going to show you how it works, because, you know, that's a little bit more straightforward. So let's just see. So here it is. And let me take my weeks, my current weeks. And so what you do is basically you can put it here. You can put it here, and this should be out of it. You can put it here, and you can close your pl planner like that. You see? So that's how it works. I don't have my A6 cover nearby right now, but um, it works the exact same way. You put it on the pocket, and that's it. I bought it because I wanted to use it with my weeks. And I wanted to try it with my weeks. So that's why I only have my weeks with me right now. Now, next thing I bought are these notepads, which are the week size notepads. Um, I still have a couple from last year, but I like to have, you know, some spare ones. One, because they are Tamoy River paper. <laughs> they are the older paper. And also because I just use them in different ways. So I'm going to show you the colors that they come in. So that you can see them. So you've got a red one, you've got this uh, sky blue, so to speak, you've got this blue, and you've got this brown one. They're gridded, they have like 40 something pages, and they're like this. Can you see the grid? Yes, you can. And I usually fit them in here, as you can see with this one. Um, I tend to use these notebooks as additional notes, notepads or as notebooks in order to track my finances so i use them as if they were you know those little bank notebooks that we used to have i don't know if you have them in your countries but i remember when i was um my early 20s uh, i would have that and my mom had one of those bank uh notepads all their life and you would put them in the machine and they would scan them and you know <laughs> print your transfers and all that and tell you how much money you had before online banking and all this so I kind of use them in that way to track bills that I have to pay. So this is the first bundle of things that I bought from the first store, which was Entropia Paper Store. And now let's move on to Mi Tienda de Arte, which was the second one. Mi Tienda de Arte is an online store. I'll leave all the links below. And let's start off with the Yuka Hiragi Hobonichi Notepad in A5 size from last year. So from the 2022 lineup, the Season of Hope collection and I bought it because it was available and I couldn't buy it last year so I found it and I just got it I mean there's not that much to explain it's my first time it's the first time I've bought one of these notepads and it has 240 pages if I'm not mistaken look at the illustration it's quite beautiful and over here so it's still the Tomoe River paper it lays flat and the grid changes color you've got the grid in five different colors as you go on, you know, as you keep turning the pages, you're going to see different colors. I don't know what I'm going to use it for just yet, but I know that it's here and it's very nice. And I'm just going to be using the using it. I don't know how at this point. <laughs> I'll keep you posted on that. I also got, of course, the monthly tags uh, to use with my cousin which I have used before, and as you can see, I'm using them here on my current planner. I got something else. So more Weeks notepads. 
you might be thinking, why did you buy these ones if you bought the other ones? Basically because when I placed the second order, I forgot that I had already bought these ones. So, you know, mistakes. So these are from the Mother collection, so this video game, Earthbound. And these ones are special in that they have these three pixel art sort of designs that correspond to different uh, places in the games. Um, and here they are. So you've got this this one that has a sort of pink and lavender pink, mostly pink and green, the, this yellowish earthy one, and then this green one. And they, here are the designs. So this is the other side, this is the other side, and this is the other side. Same paper, uh, same number of pages, all the same everything. Then I got another Hobonichi Papers, which is the Omiya <laughs> Yogashiten from last year. Again, first time buying Hobonichi Papers. Uh, it was like five euro and I bought it and I'm gonna be using it in the same way. So just sticking it here and there with different task lists, ripping the pages and so on. So here's how it looks, okay. Here's the back. And then here's the illustration. You've got the illustration of the little girl. Can you see it? Yes, you can see her. Same paper, and it's just a blank notepad. So the one from last year, and this is the one from this year. So, you know, have I? am I gonna buy more? I don't know. But um, this is one of those things that is not too pricey and you can buy several of, and I don't think it hurts as much. You know, I don't think it hurts your pocket as much as some of the other things that you can purchase might. So yeah. And now, last but not least, let me show you something that I bought that I didn't think I was gonna, going to buy. And also on my previous video, I said that I don't buy leather planners. So let me show you. Uh, this is not the weeks that I'm gonna be using for 2023 because I'm waiting for the One Piece collection. And I also want to kind of spread out my expenses a little bit because you know, we gotta watch we gotta be watchful of those euros. We gotta be, you know, careful. <laughs> Even if we have these sort of pricier hobbies that we do. But, you know, we gotta be conscious and aware of everything. So this is a Hobonichi Weeks, a spring start from 2021 in the shadow black. And it's one of those leather planners. You might be thinking, why did you buy a 2021 planner? And the main answer is that one, it was a fourth of the price. Um, and I wanted a Hobonichi that I can kind of mess up and not feel too bad about. So swatch things in and just play around with. And that wasn't my actual planner because I'll probably feel a bit more self-conscious about it. So I found it on the website. It, they have this little Hobonichi outlet section. And, you know, the planner has already been produced. The leather has already been produced. It was not, you know, it was there and it was like a fourth of the price. So I'm just going to use it in this way. And I also thought it would be nice for me to show you what they look like, right? But as I said, this is one of the first, the few times that I buy a leather something because I usually don't ever. So yeah, it's just an exception to the rule. So they come like this. The packaging is already paper in this case. But let's see, they come with these little... This is giving me traveler's notebook pockets and stuff like that. So then they come with this bag. They come with an extra bag. And, and here's what it looks like. So, you know, it's regular, it's black leather. And one of the main differences, of course, it comes with the pocket that you can stick and the life and book information. Another difference is that the bookmarks are ribbon bookmarks instead of being these sort of thinner thready ones if you look at the weeks comes with these ones these ones come with a blue and in this case a blue one and a white one but they're ribbon bookmarks same thing it, it lays flat kind of it works the same way it does have the same month but it being a spring start um it starts in april it has to do with the japanese academic year and stuff so yeah so this is a Hobonichi that I'm just going to mess up and play around in and swatch things in and I'll probably use it in a few minutes when I show you what I bought from the convention from these independent artists so I'm just going to keep it somewhere here 
<laughs> so that I can uh, refer back to it. So, and this is the booklet from 2021, which I do remember because it was huge compared to the other one. So this is the 2023 one. Look, and this is the 2021 one. And I'm just going to just unfold it so that you see how huge it is. Because many of you will remember. But this one is super, super big. It's huge. Look at that. Look at that. It doesn't even fit in the frame. So in this case, it was 40 ideas. It gave you 40 ideas for you to use your Hobonichi. Do you see how huge it is? And then on the other side, you've got all the Hobonichi products with explanations and so on. And that's pretty much it. That's everything that I got from... Uh, these two stores. This is all the Hobonichi stuff that I bought and as I said before there will be another video in which I'll show you uh, my next haul. I don't know when but I know that there will be another video like this. So now let's move on to what I got from the convention because I really wanted to spotlight some independent artists um, that prepare stationery and stuff and in case you want to follow them and see different things uh, being used on Hobonichi. So let's get to it. So I'm going to start off with this one here, which is Micho Pocho. I'm going to leave the names, but basically her brand is all about cats and mental health. And I got some stickers. I bought some. She gave me a couple because I've known her for a few years now. So let me just show them to you. So first one here, we are in this together. Crying is the first step to being okay. So she always has these messages. Overthinking. This one here, Tap Tap Lover. Adulthood is hard and expensive. I also have a t-shirt with this. Um, you know, whenever I show my face, next time I show my face, I will, you know, I'll, I might be wearing it. And this one here, which says you are enough. It has this, like that. And this one, for example, you see, you bore me. <laughs> so it just has different messages. And she also makes these pins the same designs and this is a pop socket so but this is not stationary so I'm just gonna put it away and I got this washi tape from her can you see it here it has these cats so let's grab that 2021 Hobonichi and let's just swatch it so we can see it so here is the Hobonichi I'm just gonna go to the notes pages and I'm just gonna swatch it over here for example, so, okay, where does it start? Here. Okay. Oops, sorry. Here it is. So here's the first roll of washi tape with these cats. Now, another roll of washi tape that I got was from this illustrator. And this is her name, and this is her website and everything. Her name is Beth Diaz. Uh, first time seeing her at the convention, but here's her information. I'll make sure I to link her, link everyone below. And I got this one, which was a Tokyo Revengers washi tape. I don't know if you've been reading the manga, if you've read it, if you've seen the anime, I have no idea. Just let me know. But um, I'm, I'm enjoying it. You know, I've bought some of the comics, some of the manga, and I'm really enjoying it. So let's just swatch it together. So you've got the characters. And, you know, I just wanted some washi tape that was not your typical, you know, botanical washi tape. Swatch it. Just do a little stripe there. Okay. There you are. There it is. And last but not least, I got a third roll of washi tape from a different artist. It comes in this bag right here. Let me just make sure I get her card first. And so this is her card. And well, she has a QR code. I'm going to leave it here in case you want to zap it with your phone, or whatever the verb is, you want to scan it. Um, I can't see their name here. So I bought I 
I bought this washi tape from them. And as you can see, it's green. I have no issues with green washi tape. I do have issues with green planners. And you know why if you've seen my next video. If, you, if you've seen my next video, that's lovely. If you have seen my previous video. So this is one with dinosaurs and amber stones and stuff. So let's watch it. Ooh. And here it is. So the colors are quite vibrant. I really like the mix of different shades of green and the detail in the illustration. And look at the little characters on the previous one and the cats, just, they're so cute. So these ones are from this illustrator here. That's her information. And so these ones are Digimon stickers. <laughs> If you grew up, you know, if you're a millennial like me, you probably remember these. So these are the different Digivice. Um, there it is. Okay, these ones are in the same bag, but I don't know which ones are from what, from who, because they were both together. They were together in the same booth. So I'm just going to leave their information here. That's one. And that's another one. I'll link everything. And look at them. Just, just look at them. Draculaura. Really? The Smolith Pokemon? Really? Yes, really? Look at that. Just, just look at that. Sprigatito? Please. Frankie, yes, and Queen Amidala. So I always like to have a sort of a hodgepodge of stickers because I never know, you know, I never know what I'm going to want to put on my planner. So I always, whenever I go to a convention every year, I just like to buy stickers from different people and just keep them in a little packet and use them whenever. Is there anything else? Yes, so last packet here, last little bag here is from okay from whoop there it goes from limbo illustration and she's also a tattoo artist so this is the, her card and i got some of these these this ones i love i love the color in these ones so i got a couple of pins okay look at that one Yes, focus, please. And this one with this tiger says, let me scream, or let me yell. You've got this one, sort of a his hipstery skater tiger boy. Of course, look at this cow, rainbow cow. Lemon grab. And this one right here, which says, kill him with kindness. I love the way she uses colors on these illustrations. I just love it. So this one I might put on my my weeks once it gets here. I don't know. I'll just show you everything when I'll just show you everything when it gets here and when I have my weeks at home because I haven't bought it yet and I don't know when I'm going to buy it. So here's everything that I bought and here's everything that I wanted to show you. Uh, let me know what you got. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Bear with me because it's my first one. It's my first one with this top-down setting and I'm still figuring a lot of things out, but you know, we all have to start somewhere. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.